Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk briefly about assignment statements. So what I have here is the declaration of a variable of type integer, and I called it number in this line here. And then I initialized this variable by giving it the value 10. It's very important that you know the difference between declaration and initialization. Basically, declaration is giving a name and a type to your variable whereas initialization is the first assignment statement of a variable. So here I have an assignment statement and its structure is as following, a variable equal and then a value. One important thing to mention here is that the type of the right hand side has to be the same as the type of the left hand side. Let's see what happens if I do, let's say number um, equals to Let's say Sam. It's going to give me an error here. So it's telling me a required type is integer, uh, whereas you're giving me a string. So that's an important thing to keep in mind to assign the right value type to the variable in your assignment statement. So let's take this out. So this is our first assignment statement for the variable number which is, as we said, the initialization of this variable. Um, so, oops, I can type statement. Here we are. So you can have as many assignment statements for a variable as you want. Of course, each time you make a new assignment statement, its value changes. So you can, for example, change our variable number here into 20, and then again to 30, and so on. As you can see, we use the equals operator in our assignment statement, uh, which takes us to another very important thing that you need to know, which is the difference between equals and equals equals operator. So let's see what happens if I try to print out our variable, which is number. It should give me 20 because this is the last uh, integer that is assigned to a number. And it did, it gave me 20. But let's see what happens if I try to print out numbers equals equals, let's say, 50. So what was printed out here is false, because this is uh, another kind of statement that is called a condition statement. So what it does if, is that it checks if the integer that the, our variable holds is equals to 50. If they are equal, it returns true. If not, it returns false. You have to pay attention to the equals equals operator because this is an error that even seniors fall into. If we use an assignment statement here instead like this, so there's what happens is that it's going to assign number to be of value 50 and then print it. So as you can tell, just one extra equals can do a completely different job. So make sure to pay attention to this in the future. Another thing I want to talk about that you've probably seen and will be always using in the future is this line here. Int number equals 10. If you look at this closely, you'll find out that this is no more than these two lines combined. Declaration and initialization. And it actually does the same job. It just makes the code cleaner and more readable. We declared an integer, called it number, and then used the equal operator to assign the value 10 to it. So let's take this out. We no longer need it. And let's comment this and this. And let's try to print our variable number. So it does the same thing, prints out 10. The last thing I'll talk about is what happens if we forget to assign anything to the variable, or in other words, forget to initialize it. So let's see if I print this after taking equals 10 out. The error I got here says Java variable might not have been initialized, which makes sense. You cannot do any operations on your variable if it's not initialized and assigned a proper value. And that's how important assignment statements are. This is all what I have for assignment statements. Please feel free to ask anyone from the tutoring center for help if you need any.